Hi everyone, welcome to the Droidy channel. Today's video will explain to you the Android phone stuck on AT&T screen. We have seen some users Android phone stuck on AT&T screen in the forum. For example, one user was awakened by the sound of the phone in the morning. It was the ringing sound after the phone vibrated, and then the screen turned white, and the AT&T logo appeared, and he could not get past the screen. Are there the same users who encounter this scene? Whether you are the same as this user or not. In today's video, we will tell you how to fix Android phone stuck on AT&T screen and why is my phone stuck on AT&T screen. Please try all the methods in the video patiently. This video is applicable to mobile phone models including Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Vivo, Oppo, Sony, LG, HTC. Software failure. When the operating system or files are damaged, AT&T screen may appear. Application impact. If you download and install third-party applications on your Android phone or there are applications that have not been used for a long time, the problem of Android phone stuck on AT&T logo will also occur. Hardware issues. Hardware-related glitches can also cause Android phone won't go past the AT&T screen on startup. If you want to know how to fix an Android phone stuck on AT&T logo, you've come to the right place. We've summarized several simple and quick ways to fix AT&T world phone screen stuck. Follow the steps in the video and try the methods in the video one by one. I believe there is always a solution that can solve your problem. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section. If you think this video is good, you can subscribe, like or leave a message to let us know which method helped you solve the problem. Method 1 is to force restart. If the Android phone stuck at power up on AT&T logo is caused by a software glitch on the Android phone, then a force restart is one of the best solutions. Because a force restart can eliminate temporary glitches and software glitches and get the Android phone running again, a force restart is very simple and only requires you to press a specific button. Next, try the following steps. Please press and hold the combination of the phone's force restart keys. The combination of the Samsung phone force restart keys in the video is the power button and the volume down button. Please press and hold the combination of your phone's force restart keys for 10 to 15 seconds. When the phone brand logo appears on the screen, you can let go, and then your phone will automatically restart. Wait for the restart to complete and see if the Android phone escapes the AT&T screen. Method 2 is to boot into safe mode. Safe mode can start the Android phone without launching third-party applications, that is, in safe mode, no third-party applications can run, and only the necessary files required to start the device are loaded. If the problem of Android phone stuck on AT&T screen on boot is caused by third-party applications or files, safe mode is the best way to eliminate it. To enter safe mode, follow the steps below. First, make sure the Android phone is turned off, then press and hold the power button. When the phone logo appears on the screen, release the power button and press and hold the volume down button. If done correctly, your Android phone should turn on and safe mode will appear in the lower left corner of the screen. If there are no problems in safe mode, it can be determined that there is a conflict or influence from third-party applications. Please delete the suspicious third-party applications one by one and verify the problem of get stuck on AT&T logo screen on Android phone again. Finally, to exit safe mode, restart the Android phone. Method 3 is to enter recovery mode to wipe the cache partition. Some users may use their phones for a long time without restarting. Under long-term use, the cached files in the system may malfunction or become corrupted. Once these files have problems, the AT&T logo keeps staying on the Android phone screen may appear. To troubleshoot this problem, try to enter the recovery mode of your Android phone to wipe the cache partition. Please try the following steps. To wipe the cache partition, connect your phone to your computer. And make sure your phone is turned off and wait for at least 30 seconds. Then press and hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time until you see the recovery mode screen. Do not release them during this period. Then use the volume down button to select the wipe cache partition option and press the power button to select it. Then use the volume down button again to select yes and press the power button again to confirm. After waiting for a few seconds, the option to restart the system immediately will appear. Please press the power button to confirm. After waiting for the phone to restart and complete the relevant settings, use the phone normally to check whether the problem of Android phone keeps showing AT&T logo on the boot screen exists. Method 4 is to enter recovery mode to factory reset. If the above steps fail to remove stuck AT&T logo from Android phone, you may need to enter recovery mode to factory reset. If it is not a hardware problem, then factory reset is likely to fix Android phone won't turn on past AT&T logo. But factory reset will delete all the data on the phone, so if you need the data on your Android phone, please back up the data before factory reset, otherwise all the data will be lost. Next, follow the steps below to enter recovery mode to factory reset your Android phone. Connect your phone to the computer and make sure your phone is turned off and wait for at least 30 seconds. 
Then press and hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time until you see the recovery mode screen. Do not release them during this time. In Android recovery mode, use the volume down button to select the wipe data slash factory reset option and press the power button to confirm. After that, use the volume down button again to select factory reset and use the power button to select yes option to confirm. The reset process will be triggered and it will take only 2 to 3 seconds to complete. Once completed, it will take you back to the same recovery mode. After that, use the power button to select the reboot system now option. After that, your Android phone will turn back on and you need to follow the on-screen prompts to complete the corresponding settings. Finally, after all operations are completed, check again whether the Android phone is frozen on the AT&T screen problem is fixed. Method 5 is to ask for help. When factory reset does not help you fix stuck on AT&T screen when booting up an Android phone, it may be that there is a problem with a certain hardware. Since hardware-related problems cannot be fixed by yourself, you need to take your phone to the nearest official after-sales service center or ask your carrier, who may have a solution to fix AT&T logo is stuck on Android phone screen. That's all for today's video. If you find this video helpful and think we did a good job, please like and share it and let us know which method helped you solve the problem in the comment section. At the same time, if you think we need to improve, you can also tell us your opinions and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck.